welcome back to Easy Off Grid. It is Friday, August 7th. Uh, just after, let's see, it's about 12.36 p.m., so just after noon. Um, today is my oldest son's birthday. He turns 20. Happy birthday, son. Um, okay. So I got the solar all installed. Let me show you what I did. It's extremely windy today, you guys. Extremely windy. Um, these <laughs> these panel mounts are doing pretty good considering they're pretty pretty heavy on this side, um, and all of the movement is front to back. So once I stabilize that, um, it won't be any issue. So I think I showed you this one a couple days ago. This one. I ended up not taking these two off. I just built a mount in place and then set the panel on top. And I don't know if you recognize this, but like I said, I, I make do with what I have here. So um, this <laughs> is a T-post from a fence. I cut it in, in a couple different pieces. Here's the other piece of it here. Um, I needed something really strong and rigid to hold that panel in place to the next two. And I had this little T-post laying around. I don't know why I even brought it up here. You can't really use it for a fence. It was like a three foot, eh, maybe a four foot T-post. You know, but once you drive it in the ground, you lose a foot and a half of it, so. Um, I really had no use for it. It was just sitting over there on the ground, getting rusty, so. It happened to be the perfect, uh, perfect thing I needed to do this. So it worked out pretty good. I just primered all these pieces here. Scrubbed them with the wire brush, primered them, keep them from rusting any further. And this worked out pretty good. I got it all wired up yesterday evening. Um, everything's in parallel on this string. Or sorry, everything's in series on this string. Uh, about 140 volts at, I don't know, five and a half, six amps. And then paralleled. To this string which is also in series same thing 140 volts about five and a half six amps um, so today's the first day I've actually got to see if it if it's uh, producing any um, I wanted to show you something about these energy panels too which I found out yesterday which kind of irritates me but we'll get back to that in a second so this is my second load of laundry running both the washer and the dryer and uh, by noon, this was already in float mode. The highest wattage I saw it get up to was when I kicked on the dryer um, and just started the washer, the second load of the wash, kicked over the dryer and it got up to about 1,050 watts. Uh, it peaked out, um, but once everything's running and settled down, um, it dropped quite a bit down to about f we're between five and six hundred watts We're pulling from the panels right now batteries are already in float, so they don't need much power and Basically, it's just pulling power from the panels For the uh, washer the dryer and my refrigerator that's sitting over there next to the trailer um, That's it. It's working pretty darn good the charge controller says we're sitting right about 136 volts at 42 amps. So, pretty neat. Works pretty good so far. <laughs> we'll see. Time will tell. Um, I don't know if you guys will see it. I'll try to get you up there so you can see it. I can't see it now because I don't have a ladder, but. Um, You know what, this is going to be difficult without a ladder. Here, I'm going to try to get you guys up there. I don't know if you can see these lines right here. I really don't, I can't see if you can see that on the camera, but. Um, let me see if I can find one a little bit closer. So. I was looking at those lines, here we go, 
there's there's some here you got one here you got one here you got more up here ah, where's the camera there we go there's one up there there's more up there these are all Renogy panels 100 watt Renogy's everything that I installed prior to these latest 400 watts was all Renogy and you, I can see them I don't know if you can see them but on these panels here they're they're right across the middle there um, I don't see a whole lot on this panel quite a bit on this one and just a couple of spots on this one and uh, I don't see a whole lot on the back string if you look I don't know if you can see it on the camera but in, in every one of these spots where there's that line let's try to look at this one the small like silver looking connections that go laterally this way these little lines and every one of those spots where you see that line like that across the panel it looks like it's it's rusting in there it literally looks like rust in all of those places where you see the lines go across the panels like that so i don't know if that's a um, just a poor seal on these or what I don't know also if you look at the edges you could really see it here it's all browned on the side that all looks like rust too but especially in these lines here it's very it looks very rusty in there I don't know what it is it may not be rust but uh, anyways I just thought that was kind of strange um, Maybe that's common with panels as they get older. I don't know. But I don't know if that has any effect on the efficiency of the panels. But uh, these, um, these new solar panels I got, the rich solar, they don't have any of those kind of lines in them. They do have a little bit of glue that I'm going to have to clean up. It's kind of irritating. Got some glue on there, but uh, I can clean that up. So something I didn't realize when I was installing these new panels is they are slightly smaller in size. About an inch and a quarter shorter. There's some more glue on the new rich solar panel there. Um, yeah, they're about an inch and a quarter shorter. But somehow they pull out the same uh, wattage and about the same amperage as well. So cool, I guess. I don't know. Other than that, though, everything seems to be working pretty good with the solar. Um, no issues so far. I don't have any overheating with my charge controller so far. Yep, oh, dryer's done. Um, yeah, it just seems to be working pretty good. So we shall see how it goes. Um, I just had this stuff wired up temporarily just to see if it would work and not blow things up. But uh, I gotta come back and kind of tidy this up a little bit and and uh, tape up some of my connections, get this out of the, the weather, stuff like that. But other than that, it's, uh, it's looking pretty good. Um, yesterday was a bit cooler. Not, not much, it was like 84 degrees was the high. But the low was like, <laughs> it got a little chilly. It was uh, like 42 degrees up here. So, yeah, it was kind of cool, literally. So everything's working with the washer and dryer. No issues there. It, fired, it all fired right up when I uh, hooked the gas up and got the water going. So that's all good. Um, did a little cleaning up around here trying to consolidate my my scrap piles that I have when I'm working on projects I've got a, this is my main scrap pile where I usually pull things from when I need to redneck something or whatever I usually find it over there and then I've got another one over here and this was from the little shed build here so just trying to straighten up a little bit saw a little tarantula over here earlier. I don't know if he's alive or dead. He was all balled up. Here he is. 
He must be dead. It's a little tiny tarantula. I don't know if you could see him. I'm not going to get any closer to him, but. He must be dead. But uh, that's the first one I've seen out here. There's been times when I've been up here in the, in the summer and you'll see them walking all over the place out here. Uh, but that's the first one I've seen. So, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I don't think these little pine trees that I planted are gonna make it right now. They're not looking so hot. We'll see. This one for sure is not gonna make it. This one, I don't think so either. No, he's not looking too good. And then this one, don't think so. We'll see. Probably not. It's all right, I've got more at home. Man, the wind is just kicking. I don't know if you guys can hear that with this microphone, but that thing is just blasting like an airplane right now. <laughs> it's crazy. All right, so I'm not going to do anything major today. Um, I'm going to do some more cleaning up around here, tidying up, and I'll probably head into the, the uh, container here in a little bit and try to clean up inside. I've got stuff all over the place from different projects that I need to kind of take care of, stuff like this. That little wood stack fell over at some point. Anyways, I want to straighten up in here. And uh, I don't know, just kind of take it easy today. So, since I got here Sunday evening until this morning, I have not seen a single bird out here. I saw a dove, one dove, but that was it. I filled up these bird feeders hanging from the tree. Oh, I think on Tuesday. Usually as soon as I fill those things up, the birds come in like crazy and just start attacking them. But for whatever reason, they weren't coming around. But uh, they finally showed up this morning and just started tearing into it pretty good. And uh, I've had a couple of hummingbirds come in looking for food on these feeders. I, I typically don't fill them up because I don't usually get a lot of hummingbirds. But since I filled that up, I've seen several over here eating off of it. So hopefully that'll uh, attract more of them. We'll see. Man, I hope this isn't picking up on the, on the microphone, but it is super windy out here. I'm using the, the dead cat on my microphone. And that thing is just flopping around in the wind, but hopefully you guys aren't hearing it. Um, let's see, what else? I still need to probably relocate my cell phone signal booster antenna. It's just, it's not, it's not done any better for me by raising it up like I did. And I think I have the wrong angle on the antenna anyways. It's pointed down too far. So, I'm thinking about, I'm not sure if this is going to help, but I'm thinking about relocating it to the far end of the container, just past the uh, solar panels on the back there. I don't know if for, for any reason that that can, shipping container is interfering with the signal on my antenna. It could be coincidence, but it seems like as soon as I put that container there, my signal started dropping a, a little bit. I don't know, it may have nothing to do with it, but I'm thinking about putting it over there and then taking the uh, inside portion of the sig signal booster. It's like a little hub or a modem or whatever it is. I don't even know what you call it. And the inside antenna and putting them inside the tiny cabin 
it'll make my run a little bit longer than it is here. Um, a little bit. But I don't know if that'll affect the signal quality. There's going to be some voltage drop, I'm sure, because it's a further run. But if I can get a better signal over there, it might, it might be beneficial. So we'll see. I'm, I don't know. I'm just going to play around with it and see what happens. Um, yeah, that's about it. Can't think of anything else. Haven't seen any animals. Haven't seen any people. <laughs> it's just been me and the dog up here all week. I've got some uh, neighbors coming up today. And I think I have a friend of mine coming up tomorrow. So, we'll, we'll see some people. Um, yeah, that's about it, guys. I got nothing else for you right now. Um, I'm going to put you down. I don't even know what time it is. Oh, yeah, okay, it's almost 1 o'clock. Put you down, um, get some more stuff down, done around here, and I'll probably pick back up with you later on. All right, guys, we'll, uh, I'll uh, talk to you then.